we know that if the processor requests for a particular page and if that page is not available in the main memory or the physical memory then there will be a page fault when this page fault occurs the operating system must bring the desired page from the secondary storage and bring it to the main memory now when this page has to be brought into the main memory a frame should be available in the main memory so that this page can be brought in over there but what happens if there is no free frame because all the frames might be used either by the operating system or the kernel and it might be used by the various processes or input output buffers so if all the frames are currently occupied then if this new page is being brought from the secondary storage to the main memory then where will it be kept so then in this case we need a page replacement that means we will find some page in the main memory which is currently not in use because that process is process might be in a suspended state so we will find such page such frame in the memory and then we are going to free that particular frame so if let us assume that this is the logical memory for process 1 and this is the logical memory for process 2 this is the page table for process 1 we can see that currently in frame 6 we have virtual page 0 that means this virtual page 0 the logical page 0 is currently in page in frame number 6 and the valid invalid bit is v that means it is a valid page what is a valid invalid bit you can check my earlier video on this so you can see that if this is the physical memory in frame 6 we have the logical page 0 which had the contents a over here similarly we can see that so this is page 1 page 2 and page 3 we can see that page 1 is currently not in the valid state and you can see that the valid invalid bit is also i page 2 a logical page 2 is currently in frame 3 of the memory so this is frame 3 of the memory and you can see that this logical page 2 which had content c is available in the physical memory similarly you can check for logical pages of process 2 also you can see that again you can see that like for example logical page 3 is available in frame 5 so this is frame 5 of the physical memory and you can see that the logical page of process 2 is available here in frame 5 now if the processor has requested for logical page 1 so logical page 1 the page table for process 1 will be checked and it has been seen that this is currently invalid that means this page is currently not in the main memory so this is a page fault where is this page it is currently on the hard disk or the backing store so this page has now to be brought into the physical memory but as we can see all the frames currently are occupied so where will this page be brought in which frame of the memory will it be kept so if we think about the page fault service routine that means how that page fault will be handled first of all that desired page which is requested for we will find the location of that page on the disk so maybe we will find that this is the address of that page on the disk that means this particular track this particular sector once that address is available once that location is available now what is required is that we have to find a free frame in the main memory so if there is a free frame available then we will use it and bring this particular page into the main memory over here but if there is no free frame then some page replacement algorithm has to be used to select a victim frame that means out of these frames which are currently occupied one of the frame has to be freed so that victim frame has to be determined by using some page replacement algorithm once that frame is free then the desired page will be brought into the newly free frame 
and accordingly the page and frame tables will be updated. So now the page table will show that this particular page is valid and is available in so and so frame of the main memory. And then the CPU will continue that process by restarting that instruction that had caused the trap. Because there was a page fault, so a trap had been generated to the OS to find and bring that page from the disk to the main memory. So now that page has been brought, that particular instruction will be restarted. But if there is no free frame, there are two page transfers. One is that the victim frame has to be taken from the main memory to the hard disk and from the hard disk the required page has to be taken. If there was a free frame then only one transfer will be required from the disk to the main memory and put in the free frame. So if there is no free frame there are two page transfers so this increases the effective access time. Now what can be done is to reduce this overhead we can use a dirty bit which is also known as the modify bit. So what exactly is the dirty bit? With each page or frame we associate a modify bit with it. Just the way we have a valid invalid bit with each frame we also associate a modify bit with each page. Now whenever this page is written into that means suppose if this is the logical address space 0, 1, 2, 3 and we had the valid in valid bit over here. We had the frame number and let's say we have a modify bit also or a dirty bit. So we suppose let's say page 0 was in frame 5 and it is currently valid. Now if in this particular page any modifications are done or anything is written into if this in this logical page 0 which is available in frame 5 if any changes are done if it is written into then this modify or dirty bit will be set that means the page has been modified. So whenever this frame or this page is selected for replacement this page 0 which was available in frame 5 if this is selected for replacement then the modify bit is examined. If this bit is set that means the page has been modified while it was in the main memory. So in that case this page when it is being replaced it will be written back to storage. So let's say the victim frame is available over here in this frame and if this frame has has a dirty bit set to 1 that means this p1 process whatever page was here it has been modified. So it the new page the new changes will be now written back to the disk. But imagine if that modify bit was 0 that means the page is not modified then there is no need to write the memory page back to storage because the copy of it is already there. So now let us say if this page was not modified that means dirty bit was 0 then the copy of this page is already there. So whenever a page is taken from the disk to the main memory the copy is already there in the disk. Now if this page is not modified then there is no need to rewrite it back to disk because it is already available there. So then only the new page that has to be brought in can be changed, put in this free frame. So this will effectively reduce the number of page transfers for the page fault. So this is the use of the dirty bit. If a particular page has been modified then it will be written back to the hard disk. If the modify bit is not set that means the page has not been modified then there is no need of putting it back to the storage because the copy of that page is already there. So frame let us say that a particular instruction which requested for a particular frame or for a particular phrase uh, page is not currently in memory and there is a page fault. 
So what will happen? The page table will be checked and it is checked that it will be seen that with which particular frame or page can be brought back to the hard disk and which can be replaced. So if this page has been identified to be replaced, that means the frame will be frame 0. So frame 0 or this whatever is the page number for this, it has to be, it has been identified that this will be the victim frame. So this particular frame or this particular page has been identified as the victim frame. That means now this will be removed, it will be taken back to the backing store. So if this is taken back to the backing store, its valid and valid bit will be changed to invalid. So the victim page is swapped out to the hard disk or the backing store. Now after changing this bit to invalid, now the new page which was desired, it will be brought into this free frame and now the page table will be appropriately set by changing the, the valid invalid bit for the new page to be as the valid bit. Now this dirty bit technique also applies to read only messages, pages because these read only pages are the ones which will never be modified like pages of binary code. So executable pages which are containing binary code, they are already marked as read only pages. That means nothing can be written into those pages. So we know that these pages cannot be modified. So these pages can be discarded whenever desired because their copy is already available in the hard disk. These pages need not be written back into the hard disk. So this dirty bit concept significantly reduces the time which is required to service a page fault. And this reduces the IO time by half if the page has not been modified because now only the new page is brought into the main memory and the victim page is not written back. So there are many different page replacement algorithms which can help us identify a victim frame. That means which particular frame will be freed. But how do we know that this replacement algorithm is working well? So we can evaluate an algorithm by running it on a particular string of memory references and computing the number of page faults. So this string of memory references is called a reference string. And this reference string would be referring to the pages of the memory and the way the processor is, send, is requesting for those particular pages in sequence. For a particular page replacement algorithm, the number of page faults will be computed for this reference string. For whichever algorithm, the number of page faults are less, that is considered to be a good replacement algorithm. We will look into page replacement algorithms in our further videos.